Given an array nums of distinct integers, return all the possible permutations. You can return the answer in any order. A permutation is a rearrangement of all the elements of the array. In the output, each of the possible arrangements should appear exactly once. Order is unimportant. So, how would we go about implementing this function? If we are limited to iterative control structures, it is hard to solve this problem cleanly for an array of any length. Solving the problem using recursion leads to a relatively straightforward solution. The key to solving the permutation problem recursively is recognizing that the permutations of this nums array 1, 2, 3 consists of the following arrangements. The number 1 followed by every possible permutation of 2 and 3, the number 2 followed by every possible permutation of 1 and 3, the number 3 followed by every possible permutation of 1 and 2. Generally speaking, we pick each number one by one, place it in the front to construct a prefix and recursively permute the rest of the n-1 elements. As recursion goes deeper, the fixed prefix or the numbers in the front grows until no numbers are left to permute. Let's trace the leftmost branch of the recursion tree starting with the initial choice of 1. The prefix is 1 and the remaining list is 2 and 3. We choose 2 and append it to the prefix. We then recursively permute the remaining list which is just 3. In this new call, we choose 3 and append it to the prefix. The remaining list is empty. We've hit the base case and so we record the first permutation of 1, 2 and 3. Now, we backtrack to the original call where the prefix was 1 and the remaining list was 2 and 3. The recursion continues and we move to the other side of this subtree. This time, we choose 3, the prefix is 1 and 3 and the remaining list is 2. We then choose 2, making the prefix 1, 3 and 2. The remaining list is empty. We've hit the base case again and record the second permutation of 1, 3 and 2. This process is repeated for the choices starting with 2 and 3, completing the full recursion tree and generating all 6 permutations. Let's review the code. We define the permutations function which takes prefix and remaining as parameters. For the base case, if remaining is empty, this prefix is a full permutation added to the output. Otherwise, loop through each number in remaining, take that number, add it to the prefix, remove it from remaining to calculate the new remaining and recurse with these updated lists. Remove the last element added to the prefix, effectively backtracking to allow the loop to try the next available element. The time complexity is O of n factorial times n. We create n factorial permutations and each one takes n steps to build, considering we are handling n numbers. Space complexity is O of n due to the recursion stack which grows as deep as n.